Hi everyone, welcome to Clarity for sure. In this session, we'll discuss important current affairs for Nabar Grade A exam. First question is, which of the following statement are true for startup funding? The options are, fund of fund for startup will provide funding through alternate investment funding. It's a correct option. And Startup India Seed Scheme will provide funding directly into the startups. It is also a correct option. And the maximum loan limit under credit guarantee scheme for startup has increased from 5 crore to 10 crore. It is wrong because it has increased from 10 crore to 20 crore rupees. So, the statement 1 and 2 are correct. Let's start with the startup. The criteria to be eligible for startup recognition are the turnover of that entity should be less than 100 crore in the previous financial year and up to the 10 years of establishment it uh, will be considered as startup and should it should work towards innovation or improvement of existing product services or processes and has the potential to generate employment. When it comes to Indian scenario, India has third largest to startup ecosystem in the world. And the job creation in the startups uh, are more in IT services, followed by healthcare, license, and professional and commercial services. And under the credit guarantee scheme for the startup, the limit has increased from 10 crore rupees to 20 crore rupees for eligible borrowers and is, it will be uh, dispersed through credit guarantee trustee company limited. So when it comes to difference between the fund of fund for the startups and startup India seeds come, uh, seed fund, fund of fund for startup was launched in the 2016 with total outlay of 10,000 crore, whereas startup India seed fund was launched in the year 2021 uh, with 945 crore. Fund of fund for the startup will not directly uh, fund for the startups it will indirectly fund them through the alternative investment fund, whereas the Startup India Seed Fund will directly uh, give grants to the startups. And target audience under the FFS scheme is uh, alternate investment funds. Uh, and under the Startup India Seed Fund is the early stage startups. And when it comes to its lending, it will, the government will invest in the artificial investment fund, which will in turn invest in the startups. Whereas here, it will directly uh, invest in the startups. The fund of fund for the startup will increase the capital availability for the startups. Whereas Startup India Seeds Fund will provide the seed funding to the early stage startups. Next question is uh, related to fishery sector. The question is, which of the following statements are true for the fishery sector? Option R, India global ranking is the as second largest to fish producing country with 8% sharing global production. It's a correct option. India stands first in aquaculture production with 139 lakh tons. It's not uh, first. India also ranks second in aquaculture production, second in aquaculture and second in fish production. So it's a wrong option. And the budget 2526 highlights the enabling framework for sustainable harnessing of fisheries from exclusive economic zones and high seas on the Lakshadweep and Andaman and Nicobar Island. It's also a correct option. So the statement 1 and 3 are correct. So in the union budget 2025-26, the KCC limit has increased from 3 lakh to 5 lakh rupees. Uh, uh, to uh, increase the credit flow uh, to the rural farmers and the fishery farmers. And also, uh, the uh, basic custom duty on the free, uh, frozen uh, fish uh, paste has also reduced from 30% to 5%. And also, uh, the Indian uh, shrimp uh, import duty has also uh, reduced from 15% to 5%. India ranks second in the fish production with 8% share in the global production with the production of 184 lakh tons. And India also ranks second in aquaculture production 
with 139 lakh tons and india is a top producer of shrimp and also a top exporter of seafood in the world with total export value of 60524 crore and in the union budget 2526 the high, highest to total annual budgetary support of 2700 crore has been allocated for the fishery sector which is 3.3 percentage increase over the previous year and this year the uh, highlight will be given on the sustainable harnessing of fisheries on exclusive economic zones and high seas on the lakshadweep and andaman and nicobar island next question is regarding uh, the pradhan mantri dandanya krishi yojana yojana which was launched in the union budget 2025-26 the question is which of the following statement are true regarding the pradhan mantri dandanya krishi yojana the options are it is for announcing the agricultural productivity it's a correct option to adopt the crop diversification and sustainable agricultural practices it is also a correct option to augment the post harvest storage at panchayat and block level it's also a correct option and for improving irrigation facility and credit availability it is also a correct option so the all the statement are correct in the union budget uh, a pro, uh, initiative prime minister dandanya krishi yojana was launched covering 100 districts with low productivity moderate crop intensity and below average credit parameters and it is expected to benefit 1.7 crore farmers in india and the ma main aim of the scheme is to modernize the farming methods provide financial security for the farmers and promote sustainable agriculture and the uh, announcing the agricultural productivity adopting crop diversification and sustainable agricultural practices augmentation of post harvest storage at uh, panchayat and block level improve irrigation facility and improving the credit availability to the farmers next question is which of the following statement are true for mission for atmanirbhar bharat in pulses launched in the union budget 2025-26 the options are it's a six year mission with special focus on tur urad and mu it's a wrong option because it is a six year mission with special focus on tur urad and masur it is not moong and the central agencies like nafid and nfccc will procure the these three pulses offered by the farmers for next four years it's also a correct option and emphasis will be given on climate resilient seeds protein content productivity post harvest storage and renewable prices for the former it's also a correct option so the statement 2 and 3 are correct uh, 2 and 3 are correct so in the union budget 2025-26 mission for atmanirbharata pulses uh, was launched with main focus on three pulses tur urad and the masur and it will give emphasis on the climate resilient seeds announcing protein content increasing the productivity improving post harvest storage and management and assuring renewable prices for the farmer so under this uh, the central agencies nafed and nccf will uh, procure the these three pulses for next uh, four years next question is which of the following statement is not one of the initiative launched in the union budget 2025-26 in the agriculture sector building rural prosperity and resilience it is one of the component uh, under the union budget and comprehensive program for vegetable and fruits it's also correct national mission on high yielding seeds it's also correct mission to double the income of the farmer there was no initiative regarding the mission to double the income of the farmer mission on cotton productivity it is also correct so the major initiative under the agriculture sector are building rural uh, prosperity and resilience it's a multi sector program it is launched in partnership with the state to address unemployment in agriculture through skilling investment technology and invigorating the rural economy and comprehensive program for vegetables and the fruit to promote the production supply processing and renewable prices to the farmers in partnership with the state and makana board will be established in bihar for production processing value addition and marketing of makana national mission on high yielding seeds it is to strengthen the research ecosystem 
development and propagation of the seeds with high yield and commercial availability of more than 100 seed varieties. And mission on cotton productivity, it's a five-year mission for implementing a productivity and sustainability of cotton farming in India with special focus on extra long staple cotton varieties. And Grameen Credit Score, it is to serve the credit needs of the SSG members and the people in rural areas of the country. And urea plant will be set up with capacity of 12.7 lakh metric tons at Namrup, Assam. The question of the day is, if the following statement are true for the union budget 2025. So give your answer in the comment box. This is for today's session. I hope you enjoyed the session. This session will help you to keep update regarding the current affairs and also helps you to revise the static portion. So keep on watching our upcoming videos. Thank you so much.